So even though fruit fly aren't as active in the winter months, there's still lots of things we can do to eradicate them. In particular, our teams are out there in their orange overalls and they're still looking to access backyards so we can pick up any fallen fruit. They're also deploying sera traps. These attract fruit flies who drown in the liquid below. So please give us access, allow the teams in, we'll be in and out really quick and that way we can eradicate fruit fly together. So even though fruit fly aren't as active in the winter months, there's still lots of things we can do to break the life cycle. In particular, those citrus fruits are out at the moment. Things like mandarins and oranges and kumquats and lemons, they're all still out in people's backyards. Pick your fruit. If we get fruit out of the backyards, collect it and put it into your green bin, we're breaking the life cycle. Check your fruit. If you see any blemishes on that fruit or anything that looks really suspicious, open it up. If you see any larvae or anything inside the fruit, please ring our hotline on 1300 666 010. The other thing you can do is prune your fruit trees. That way we get them down to a manageable size, so come spring we've got less fruit to deal with. So there's a number of different traps we use for fruit fly control. In the winter time, the cooler months, we use sera traps. Now, sera traps are a liquid trap. They've got an organic bait inside of them they attract the fruit fly who come in through the holes, land in the water and die. Now, um, they're a really good option in an eradication program and they supplement our baiting program. We use them in certain areas. In other parts of the state, we use our normal monitoring traps. Now, these are there just to monitor to make sure we don't have a problem and they're used year round. The sera traps are really just something we use in the cooler months to make sure our eradication's working.